welcome back to another of my video videos videos today what I'm gonna do is gonna be a bit different from usual because I'm gonna cook and I'm gonna cook lasagne Italian lasagne but with things I found here in my local of license so I hope this won't trigger other Italians please don't come for me anyway today is a very hot day here in London it's like 30 degrees and I don't have my makeup on because today I found myself pretty cute so yay bad positivity um, okay joke aside let's start to make the ragu first of all and then we will make the pasta sheet uh, the secret for a good lasagna and a good ragu is patience, which I don't have. Uh, that's why I'm not a good chef. <laughs> but, but, my lasagna are the only thing that is coming out quite good. So that's why I decided to try to show it to you if you want to take some suggestions or something. So in a pan I put carrot, a celery and an onion with oil until they are goldish brown color and then it's time to pour the meat. When it will be this color I like to add a little bit of white wine, you can do with red wine or nothing, it's optional. I found this little cute bottle so I put just half of it, not all of it and let it evaporate you know when it's gone because you can't feel the wine smell anymore after that I like to put I like <laughs> it's what you do tomato passata in the meat but don't throw the bottle immediately because we will need it again and now just give it a mix Since you will need some water, why not to clean the bottle of the tomato passata and just clean the bottle, fill it up with water and when you see that the ragu is a bit dry, you can pour some more water. Now low the flame, cover with the lid and let it cook for 40 minutes. I'm boiling 100 grams of spinach into salt water after I rinse the spinach and I will chop them. This is the ragu after 40 minutes. Still too liquid so let's keep it again for like an hour or more. Now for the dough we need 250 grams of flour to which we will add the chopped spinach, a pinch of salt and two eggs. To be honest, not just one, two eggs. Start mixing with a fork. Now, now we can transfer the dough on a plain surface. Kneel it, I don't know if it's the right word, kneel it, the dough, for like 10 to 15 minutes until it's like kind of green. Remember to put flour on the surface so it won't stick. When it will be this color and quite smooth, it's time to wrap it in cling film and let it rest for 30 minutes at room temperature. So it has been 30 minutes that the dough was resting, so now we're gonna cut it in different pieces and try to make it thin layers with the rolling pin. So unwrap it from the cling film, cut apart Remember to rub it back again, the part you're not using, uh, otherwise it will get dry. And with flour on the surface and the rolling pin or the pasta maker if you have it, cut the squares, make it thin, 
cut in square or rectangles and put it on a tray to let it dry. Now the ragu is ready, it's been like after two hours, so it's time to put some salt and pepper. These are the pasta sheets I made. Now let's put the thing I'm most afraid of, which is the bechamel sauce. <laughs> In a pan, warm up a liter of whole milk and in another pan to melt 100 grams of butter. When it will be melted you can turn off the flame and sift in it 100 grams of flour and mix it together to create the roux. Then turn on the gas again and pour a bit of hot milk and keep adding milk until you have this consistency. Be careful to not create, make lumps. When it's thick, it's ready. So now we have everything ready. Bechamel, ragu and cheese, grated cheese. It's time to boil our pasta sheet into salted water like so leave it for two minutes and then put it in cold water so you won't burn your hands when you're gonna touch it and in the casserole I like to put a bit of bechamel sauce at the bottom so the pasta sheet stick to it and they don't move around and as you can see I start the layer so first step is the ragu Spread it, spread it, bechamel sauce, spread it as well. And now some cheese that I'm not gonna say which kind of cheese it is. Chala! <laughs> Why you can't say it? Italians will kill me. And after five layers, this is the result. The last layer is just with bechamel and cheese and they are ready to be popped in the oven. Now look at her. She is beautiful. Oh, look at the layers. Oh, look at the bechamel sauce, the ragu and everything. Let's try them because it I tried them already, but the camera wasn't on. Mm. They are delicious. And the crust is crispy, and the day after is even better. Mm. Please, guys, try these. Try this recipe. I will link everything in the description below. I will link how I made it, the quantities, and the link where I took this recipe from. It's just amazing. And if you want to watch more of my videos, if you have recipes you want to suggest me to try to do from your region or from your country, just let me know. And I will try. Maybe I will start a new series, maybe with proper props <laughs> to be able to film it by myself. And yeah.